Hey, what's going on, guys? Goose here, man. And before I get started, if you're a Saints fan, LSU fan, Pelicans fan, or any kind of sports fan, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and give the video a thumbs up. All right, this video is going to be about the Saints. Uh, the Saints, uh, I think their biggest need in the NFL draft is the linebacker position. Uh, they addressed, they know they, they got, we got our, we finally got a number two receiver, Manuel Sanders. So that's not really a, that's not really even more of a, big need anymore as uh, as linebacker is, especially in the first round. You know, the Saints can get a receiver in the third round, so be it. But for the first round, I think uh, linebacker is the biggest need. If you look at the Saints linebacking court, it's, it's, it's very, very, it's, it's weak, and it's uh, it's just a lot of players that are, that, that are always hurt. As uh, Angeloni. Angeloni, Angeloni is always hurt. He was hurt at Florida, and uh, when the Saints drafted him, and he's been hurt, uh, but two years he's been here. And uh, Kiko Alonso is coming off an injury against the uh, Vikings in the playoff game. So the Saints definitely need to address the linebacking, pos linebacking position, especially in the first round, as uh, Patrick Queen. Uh, this video is me about Patrick Queen. Uh, you know, he came on last season as a first-year starter. He had 85 tackles for the season, three sacks. And he also had an interception uh, in the Alabama game that led to a big touchdown right before halftime. And in the Clemson game against the national, in the national championship game, he had eight tackles, also a half a sack. And uh, that really, you know, that really gave, uh, really set light to him uh, from uh, the public and, uh, you know, from the NFL. And hey, this, man, this guy might be able to uh, play at the next level. So, uh, yeah, so he, uh, you know, he entered, he entered the uh, NFL draft and he's, you know, he's mocked in the first round. Uh, NFL.com has him a uh, 6.71. Which means he's a year one quality starter. So this guy is going to be a, uh, you know, should be a very good player in the NFL. He had, he ran a 4.45 in the 40 yard dash. Uh, he had 18 reps on the bench press, 35.0 inches, and the vertical jump, broad jump was 125.0 inches. So uh, you know, in 2018, you know, he backed up, uh, he backed up uh, Devin White, and uh, did a very good job. Did a very good job. Uh, his sophomore year, sophomore season, but this uh, this past season, especially in the last half of the season, this guy really really impressed, and uh, he's really really you know bumped up a lot of draft boards, uh, and that's why he came out as a uh, draft eligible junior. So uh, yes, yeah, so to Patrick Queen, if he's available at 24, um, be interesting to see. Uh, not, of course, who's available at 24, but if he's available at 24, I would not be uh, upset at the Saints. Picked him. I'd be very upset if if he was available and the Saints did not pick him and they went a different route, uh, like a different positions, as they went if they if they draft receiver, if they draft uh, you know whatever lineman, offensive lineman, a cornerback. Uh, I'd be upset because I think linebacker is the biggest need in the NFL draft, especially especially in the first round. Later rounds, if you want to pick up another cornerback or another receiver, I would not. I would def, I would definitely be on board with that. But but for the first round. Uh, it has to, has to be a linebacker, and if Patrick Queen's available. Um, I think this is uh, I think this uh, this is a this is a player that the Saints uh, should definitely look at, and uh, and uh, I think I think uh, I think he's be too good to pass up, too good to pass up, especially if he's available there at 24, because somebody because if, if, if the Saints pass up on him, somebody will definitely pick him uh, in later in the uh, first round. All right, guys, let me know let me know what you got, let me know what the Saints fans think. Would you like Patrick Queen on the Saints football team? Uh, I, I would love to know uh, your comments. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Click all notifications and also give the video a thumbs up on your way out. And I'll talk to you guys next time.